Hello, my name is John Harmon. I'm a CPA here in McKinney, Texas. I've been in the tax profession for over 25 years, and I've been practicing here in McKinney for several years. One of the things I want to talk about right now is the offer and compromise. You'll receive a lot of notices. If you owe the IRS money, you're on a mailing list, you'll receive notices about liens and seizures and, and how they can, some company will save you 10 cents on the dollar. You'll, only owe uh, the IRS 10 cents for every dollar. Do you really think that's going to happen in every case? It won't. They forget to tell you the advertisements that only 9% of them are disallowed. Over 90% of the offer compromises are not approved. That means 10% are, which means it's very rare for you to be accepted. And it has to be unusual situations. I was at a seminar just a couple of weeks ago. It was presented by two attorneys that, that specialize in IRS representation. And General Rule, Rule 1 said, if you can walk and talk and you have a job, they're not going to compromise with you. They'll put you on a payment plan and you can drag the payments out and perhaps have the debt fall off after statute of limitations runs out. But they won't work with you on the offer of compromise. They have to have a reason. So if you're, if you're hundred thousand dollars, you're living on Social Security, you're 65 years old, and you can borrow five thousand from your brother or your sister, they will accept it. But if you're 30 years old, 35 years old, you're making hundred thousand dollars a year, and you own fifty thousand dollars, they have less reason to negotiate. They just wait you out. We'll give you station limitations is 10 years, we'll just wait 10 years and we'll collect your money. If you don't pay us and don't follow up, we'll put a lien on your property so when you sell your home, we'll collect the money then. The secret is to get good representation when you get in debt. You start receiving IRS notices, take care of them immediately. Develop a plan to get out of debt with IRS. An offer and compromise is a good way in some situations. If you go out and Google a lot of the firms that advertise the 10 cents on the dollar, so Google them, look at the feedback from the class I've had, and you understand what the issues are or what they, what they promise, because they can't. They can't deliver it in all the cases. What I can do is explain your situation, give you what I think will happen, what the opportunities are, if there is an opportunity for offer a compromise, we'll follow it. I mean, we want you out of that debt. If you can settle 10 cents on a dollar, 30 cents on a dollar, take it and walk away from it, pay the IRS and walk away and happy. The IRS is happy and you're happy. It doesn't happen that often, but it does happen. Most, more commonly, a payment plan is set up. We can work on both of those for you. We can represent you and help you set up a payment plan that will allow you to still live. Or if a situation uh, fits the criteria for an offer and compromise, we can help you reach some type of agreement with IRS. There's a lot of forms that want your bank statements, titles to land. They'll do a lot of details uh, searching for what you own. They'll pull uh, that go down to a courthouse and pull records of property you have owned and make sure you do not own it anymore. They'll look at your insurance policies. They'll look and see who's paying why, if you're paying any additional money. Uh, if you have three cars, there's only two of you, they'll want you to sell one of your cars. If you have equity in your home, they consider that an asset. That's the, how they think about it is what well, you can borrow against your home get the equity in your home to pay the IRS back, they're not going to negotiate. I just put a lien on your property and wait till you sell it. And they get the full amount. Why should they negotiate? They're not going anywhere. So they take the long-term view of looking at this. So back to my point. If you're having problems with IRS, an offer and compromise is an option. It's usually not one that you can take advantage of but if you can take advantage of it, a professional can help you with that. And it is possible. 
but don't believe everything you see on the TV or notices you receive. It's not, it doesn't happen as often as they make it out to be. But when it can happen, we can help you make it happen for you. Again, my name is John Harmon. I'm a CPA here in McKinney, Texas. Thank you.